Back Alley Uproar is in 1948 Warner Brothers cartoon. This was directed by Fritz Freelang with a story by Ted Pierce and Michael Maltese. And we have Mel Blanca Sylvester and Elmer Fudd uh, is voiced by Arthur Q. Bryan. And this basically shows just how much noise Sylvester is willing to make. Elmer Fudd is trying to sleep. Sylvester is outside singing opera. And you know, I kind of liked seeing him sing opera. It was good fun, you know. But at the same time, as somebody who's very sensitive and can't sleep when there's that much noise, I completely sided with Elmer Fudd in this one because Sylvester just increases the amount of noise he makes. And no matter how much Elmer Fudd tells him to be quiet, Sylvester just goes above and beyond every single time. And I won't say to what extreme he goes, but he definitely goes out of his way. To start off with, maybe just as a nocturnal creature, he was taking the time to practice his singing. But definitely as you get towards the middle, towards, you know, further into it, you see that Sylvester is doing this on purpose to wind up Elmer Fudd. And I liked it. I thought it worked really well. We get some other cats in it as well, which is always a lot of fun. I like seeing other felines. It's always interesting to see how they choose to animate them compared to Sylvester. Elmer Fudd looks brilliant in his, um, in his nightwear. He's wearing a pink onesie, which, you know, ahead of his time, it's kind of like a romper suit. Um, he looks brilliant. Really like the animation design of Valmer Fudd's outfit here. And Sylvester, of course, was on top form. Back Alley Uproar, as much as that title is quite difficult to say, up Uproar, it, it, I, I think I'm saying it correctly, but it's, it's confusing. Um, Back Alley Uproar is definitely an enjoyable cartoon. And if you're a fan of Sylvester or a Velmer Fudd, definitely one that I recommend.